Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and today I want to be super controversial and have a lot of people yell at me in the comments because they think that I'm stupid, but I know people love hollow hot takes about Halo, and I aim to please. But today's video is going to be about why Halo needs and should go to the PlayStation platform, and why Sony would also benefit from that. We're going to take a look at some stats, and I'm basically just going to give an overview on my reasoning behind this, why I think it's important, and why it's beneficial. That being said, I know that there will be some console fanboys in the comments. That's fine, whatever, I don't care. Like, if that's the hill you want to die on instead of, like, something that actually matters, go, go for it, I guess. Personally, I will not pledge my allegiance to a billion-dollar corporation that does not care about me, or whatever I think, or want. That being said, if you guys enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like. Leave a comment down below about how you feel. I do try to read every single comment. I also don't like hide comments, so don't be afraid about being like shadow banned or anything like that. Speaking of shadows, today's sponsor is Raid Shat- No, I'm just kidding. Today's sponsor is you. And if you would like to help the channel out, make sure you subscribe. I'm trying to hit 15,000 subscribers this year. It would be a massive achievement and a milestone for myself, and it will make my dog happy. All right, let's get into the actual video. My hair is falling out. What the heck? I need to get a HIMS sponsorship. Anyways, so I was trying to do some research about, you know, like how many consoles have been sold, all that cool stuff, where consoles are popular, where Halo is popular, where Halo isn't popular. And I think that there is definitely a corresponding amount of evidence that kind of proves my theory as to why it would be beneficial for pretty much all parties involved to have Halo on PlayStation. I would say personally that Halo is definitely like a UK, North America, some South America popular franchise. It's not so much as popular in the Pacific or in Asia. And I think that one of the underlying reasons is how popular PlayStation has been in those areas as compared to Xbox. Just recently, the PlayStation 5 sold about 5 million units in Japan as of August 2024, with the Xbox Series X selling around 310,000. That's a lot less. Now, it's no secret that the Japanese video game market is huge. It's massive. It's one of the biggest in the world. And really, it just seems like that's an untapped fan base for Halo. Now, you can look at Steam and you can see the player count there. You can see where the Halo Infinite popularity is on the xbox game ranking things but it doesn't tell you like the exact player count and there have been some accounts that have tried to figure out how many people all are on there and i've seen things from like twenty thousand to thirty five thousand to fifty thousand so who knows but on steam the 24 hour peak as of this video on september 5th was over four thousand it was just over four thousand people safe to say that i think more people are going to be playing on xbox and obviously, I don't think, you know, Halo going to PlayStation probably won't increase the Steam numbers because, you know, people already have access to it in those other countries and regions. But what it will do is maybe the people that had quit playing on PC in, say, Japan because of, you know, wait times or anything like that, connection issues, if there are more people playing on PlayStation there, they'll be able to match them and get better connections and less wait time. So I could see a, uh, a correlation in increasing the player count on the PC platform, maybe just a little bit, especially if there's like some type of marketing done around it. Now recently there's been a lot of talk about how PlayStation doesn't really have great, you know, shooters right now. Concord just fell apart, you know, Call of Duty is Call of Duty. I wouldn't say, you know, something like Destiny is that popular. Nothing like Counter-Strike. Valorant is on consoles now, but I don't know how popular that's going to be. But I could definitely see a space where Halo goes to that platform and it's immediately a top three FPS game, easily. I do think that there would be a lot of noise from the, the PlayStation fan base in regards to finally getting Halo and playing it and wanting to show out and, you know, be like, you know, we're the better Halo gamers anyways and we haven't even played this game. I could see a whole bunch of like social media stuff around this that would kind of bring a little bit of hype. With how cross-platform, cross-play, all that stuff works now, I think that this would be an opportune time. I don't think that like selling consoles is as big of a deal now with like exclusives as it was before, especially for Xbox with, you know, 
how I think they're viewing their platform and ecosystem. I don't really think that they care about exclusives. They care about like making money off of the games and like microtransactions and stuff like that. So opening up the store to, you know, a potential doubling of the player base is probably something that they would love to do, especially if they can, you know, get back some of the losses that they've had uh, with releasing Halo Infinite. Overall, from a business perspective, I think it makes a lot of sense to me from like a quality of life for that game. It also makes sense to me. I don't really think it's gatekeeping, but keeping players from playing your game in 2024 because of what platform it is, is kind of whack in my opinion. I don't think that that's very consumer friendly. Other people will argue that, you know, it is competition and makes the other platforms want to work harder, but I don't know if that's necessarily the case. Personally, I want to see Halo thrive. I love Halo. I love the franchise. I love the Bungie games. I enjoy the 343 games. I actually think that Halo Infinite could have been the best Halo game of all time had it released in the vision that they wanted it to, I guess, with like a full campaign and stuff like that. All the stuff that we have now, if it had launched, and I definitely think that it needs a third big game mode kind of thing that Warzone used to be. But with all the quality of life stuff, with them adding potentially like new weapons and vehicles and sandbox stuff, all these other things, kind of relaunching the game and adding it to an entirely new platform, I think it's smart. It's what I would do. Personally, I don't think that at this point, Halo Infinite would leave a bad taste in PlayStation players' mouths. I think if anything, they would probably be excited for the next iteration of it. Imagine, you know, even the Switch, you know, vastly outsells the Xbox in Japan. So if MCC could come to the Switch or something, I think that that would also help. There's just an untapped market, an untapped fan base, an untapped you know, monetary gain. And at the end of the day, that's what these companies want to do. They want to make the most amount of money possible. And while most of the time that seems to be anti-consumer friendly, I think in this case, it's actually better for the players. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you around the ring. Peace!